Let's play a little bit of Hearthstone. I've got 755 gold. Guess I'll jump into an arena run. Start up a whole new draft, see what I get. Purchase complete. Um, I like Paladin. Mage is most likely to win. I also like Druid a lot. So Druid it is. Let's pick some high value cards here. Knife Juggler is pretty neat. Um, I think I like this guy though. Cult Master is cool, but I like the tempo shift of Frost Elemental. I don't think I've made much use of Nourish because I don't actually have that card in my collection, if I'm correct. Drawing three cards sounds kind of nice, though. It depends on... really. It, I wish I'd have got this choice later. Um, but for now, Mind Sized sounds good. Druid to the Claw, absolutely necessary. Ancient of War is also really cool, but it's good to have at least one big game hunter in the deck. Hmm. I'll go Ancient of War, just because it's early on. Druid of the Claw. Ooh, all of these are fairly nice. But it's gonna have to be Druid of the Claw. Savage Roar is good. Is a good surprise finishing move. There's another one. Brewmaster? No. I think we'll do another Savage Roar. Loot Hoarder for the draw. Argent Commander's nice. Ooh, Iron Bark. I'm not gonna go for another Savage War. We don't need three of those in the deck. Wow. But really, the other two choices are... <laughs> I might actually go Murloc Raider here, just because I've already got some fives in the deck. I've already got two fives in the deck. Um, I guess... Another Iron Bark. Can't go wrong with as many of those as you could possibly get. Now, all of these are very nice picks. Mark of the Wild I make good use of in my uh, constructed deck. I also make good use of Starfire as well, and it's hard to go wrong with Scarlet Crusader. Um, but I also think that it's very rare that you're disappointed when you draw a minion, so I think Scarlet Crusader might be my bet here. Let's see, what do I have? I don't have very many buffs and things like that, though. I think I'll go with Mark of the Wild. Get a taunt minion in there, or another one that is. We've already got some taunt in the deck, so I don't think we need Lord of the Arena. There's another mark, but Shattered Sun Clerics are really good. Wrath, I like Wrath a lot. I like the four hit points on the Dalaran Mage. Wow. I'm not sure what to make of this deck so far. We've got a lot of potentially high value minions, and decks like that tend to go at least midway through an arena run. Starfall is awesome, but so is Keeper of the Grove. I probably should have given that one a little bit more thought. Ooh, for my 25th or 26th pick, I get to choose between Mukla, Deathwing, or Millhouse. I don't know. I don't think my deck would make very much use of Deathwing. A 3 to cast 5-5 five, five is pretty cool. Especially if I can buff him up with things like Mark of the Wild. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do that. This could deter the burn decks. And those really fast rush decks. I'll pick up the heal just because the other two choices didn't seem that appealing. I like having a mind control. I like having a mind control tech in the deck. Keeper of the Grove. Alright, well, let's see how we can do. We've got a very... Um, well, I don't want to call this an early game deck because we've got a lot of really strong late game creatures, too. It all depends on what that first draw is going to look like. None 
Valfurion versus Valera. Watch your back. I must protect the wild. This is a pretty good early hand. Now it's a very good early hand. I need to draw like a Mark of the Wild next. That would be amazing. Okay. Now I need to coin something out. I could coin out the uh, Swordsmith. I don't think I will though. I think if I coin out the Loot Hoarder... Mind if I, roll me? I think he'll use his Dagger to kill the Loot Hoarder. And then I can use my Shapeshift to kill his Pirate. And the net outcome of that is that I get an extra card out of it. There's the card. I'll take the two points of damage. This turn I shapeshift. This play puts me down one hit point, but I've also got card advantage now. And in the long run, the card advantage should more than make up for the one hit point deficit. What you want? Two two taunt on the field. Turn three, and I can Mukla. Mukla works best when he comes out early. Sapped. <laughs> <laughs> this is our time, son. Yeah, beat it. That's cool. Uh, I'm actually fine with that. Bring me steel. Let's hope he continues to fill the board with small minions. Because I do have a starfall here for him. He's going to deal one damage and draw a card. He loses nothing out of that, really. This does free up a minion to be able to kill my swordsmith. He could attack it with his Defias, for example, the middle guy here. Not lose the Defias and take out my minion at the same time. That was a silly move. He really should not have... He really should have used that dwarf to shoot at my druid instead of at uh, my minion. In any case, now I can wipe the board here. It dawns on me that during this draft I did not get the option to pull a swipe. Put this apple on your head. I smell I think here, I think here the ogre is the best bet. Let him come out. Let my opponent decide how he wants to deal with a 6-7 minion. He can assassinate it. He can sap it. He can throw a bunch of minions at it. Either way, I use up one of his valuable cards by playing this. By playing the ogre. So many options. Unless he's gonna just try and rush me down. Now does he throw his two minions at the ogre? That would leave the ogre alive. And as we creep closer and closer toward 8 mana, the Iron Bark becomes more of a threat to him. Alright, so now I can start clearing his board and start doing all kinds of cool stuff. 
I've got two druids of the claw here. I can give them. I can give one of them charge. Yeah, let's do this. Where shall I strike? Give this guy charge. You can also use wrath to draw a card. Oh, another iron bark. So my opponent has five cards in hand, a dagger equipped, and he's got to deal 13 points of damage. Next turn, I can get an iron bark out. That's a good betrayal. Alright, so now my opponent finds himself in a rather precarious situation. I've got all the cards. Well, not all the cards, but I've got all the options here. Meanwhile, he's got four cards, two small minions, and a dagger to try and deal with two 8-8 Ironbark Protectors. Because I'm going to play the next one next turn as well. He's going to play a banana. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta remember, two of those cards in his hand are bananas <laughs> that Mukla gave him. So, really, that means he doesn't have a whole lot of options whatsoever. That's three cards he used to take out one of mine. Three and a half, if you count the fact that this guy spawned the guy that he used to kill the iron bark. And now he's got another one to remove from play. As well as a murloc. Also, as my deck continues to uh, whittle down, the chances become greater that I'm going to draw that healing touch and be able to restore eight hit points to myself. So he passes the turn, because he's really got nothing that he can do. We must cleanse the sun well. For the wild. Master of Magics. So now he's pretty much done. <laughs> you can silence that all you want. There's still a taunt on board. I got the best deals anywhere. And that tree is still an 8-8. Eight, eight. He's got no taunts up, so that's it. That's game for him. Pro play. Okay. I think I enjoy this deck. This was a fair draft, I think. I played into my deck's strengths with it. That's one thing you got to keep in mind after you've drafted an arena draft, is what you have left in your deck, what you have in your hand, and you've got to ex you've always got to play a game like this, any kind of collectible card game, you've always got to play a game to your deck's strengths. You can't just play it however you want, you can't just play cards as you get them, you've got to play it based upon how the deck is built, and I think I did a fair job of that this game. So in any case, that'll do it for this particular video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.